Hello everyone. So for today, I thought we could work on this. It's a double pocket. Pocket here and then a pocket up here for a journaling card or for a page. So these are made from old gift bags. So these are the ones that right now I have to take part in order to use them, which is fine. I I find this is quite easy. Most of them are these simple ties that are very easy to take off. You untie one side and voila, both sides are untied. And this one doesn't seem to have a gift card piece with it, but these are bags that you can easily get from the dollar store. And I personally like things like this because you can go ahead and have a play with them. You can use them for whatever. Um, yeah. kind of like that idea so I'm going to take this and put this underneath it a little bit here so I can glue it really well and because this is shiny it may like you may want to go ahead and use something like a uh, whatchamacallit. Because it is shiny, you may want to use something other than your glue stick. Or you may also decide to use um, like sandpaper and sandpaper it first. So there we go. This can go into the scraps. Yeah, I, I just have a play with it a little bit. I do want to add some of this to string to it. Or hemp, I think is what it's called. I think this just gives it an added rustic look using hemp as the... way of closing them holes or using them holes that were originally for the gift bag. Now I only do the front. I do not do anything with the back. Just the front. Now I think something decorative on here would be a nice little idea. Um, let's see here, what can we add that would be a little decoration on here that would make it look a little cuter. That's kind of cute. Also, I have one of these, which, yeah, I kind of like that piece, so that's what I'm going to do. So this is just a little cluster of scrap paper.
and I'm just going to add it right here so it's now blocking that little tag idea that was in the way I think then I'm gonna do a quick glue down of the side here and voila we got our double pocket I mean this is a very simple idea and you could do this with other bags you do not necessarily need to do it with Christmas if you find a purple bag and you're making a purple journal or Halloween gift bags or Valentine's gift bags use what you have you don't always have to go with the same exact theme for every piece so there we go we got another one done And again, they're different sizes. They don't all have to be the same size. I do recommend trying to make sure they're under five inches, but that's about it. And again, these are something you find at like dollar store in bulk. So again, we take it apart. Oh, this one is like this. So I take the time and just cut the cordage with my scissors. Now you can choose to use the cordage for other projects. You don't necessarily need to keep using it for this particular project. I apologize from the, for the noise. My upstairs neighbors yet again like to make noise not exactly sure what that's about all right so and I keep these to stick in so that's another little thing I'm just wondering if there's a piece that I like already that would work good on covering that piece up and I think this is it think what I'm going to do. This is a rather old sticker, so I'm going to glue it on to this just to give it a little extra something. So something as simple as doing this sometimes adds that's all it needs to decorate that pocket the top for the one spot and so I grabbed two strings this time because one string we're gonna pop right through here and then we're gonna do a cute little tie here which is a little bit more difficult when you're use deciding to only use a small piece of string <laughs> rather than a bigger piece, but it'll work. I've got one through. Now I need to get this other one through. And I'm having a bit of a struggle, but that's because at the current moment, I do not have nails. So, when you're trying to do something with no nails, it's a little bit more difficult. And I just like adding that a little bit because when you go to open it up, then it isn't really bothering it any. You can open it 
and not have any issues because it's a nice circle. So in that I stick right in there. And you guys seen as before I like using this to create a little bow on top. Now you could choose other things like lace or other pieces to do this. I just personally think it's cute and gives each of them just a different look by adding this. Again, that's your own choice how you decide to handle that. So let's glue this side and glue this side. And we'll stick this right in here. Again, I just find it's, this is the easiest way of doing this. So now we have three. Now this one's got the out part done. I found this piece and I thought, ooh, that would look cute on it. So, but I waited until I had you guys on before I started this process. Sorry, I got really quiet while I was doing this, but that happens sometimes when you get into concentration mode, is what I call it. You're so concentrated on what you're doing, you forget that there's other things going on around you. That's kind of cute, but I don't really like how that looks on there. I kind of like this, too. It says, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. And then, let's see here. I like that. Kind of goes with the colors that are already on there. So now I'm just going to glue these on quick. And I am using my Fabri-Tac. I don't like using art glitter glue with stuff like this as much. I prefer not to. But you don't always get a choice. Just saying. Sometimes your choices are a little bit more limited. So we got them done. Now let's do this part quick. And I didn't bother checking. Uh, yep, I do. It's kind of crooked though. Let's see if we can fix that. There. I just, again, I find this adds something to it. I don't know why. I really like adding this to here, I think just gives it an added piece again I that one I don't understand why I love it so much <laughs> but sometimes that happens you end up loving something out of pure randomness you don't love it because of anything in particular you just love it 
So there we go. We got that hooked in. And again, that's another thing I really love. Though I think it may look better like this. So now we're going to glue our pocket. Again, I find this is a very simple way to make your pockets. So there's number four. Now we have number five, and I have no idea what I want to do with it, but I don't like that. Again, I'm trying to find pieces that I have sitting here to kind of just go with the flow. I really like that piece and then I have this piece too yeah I like that <coughs> before we start let's pull out the that all right So again, it's just sometimes you don't need much in order to create. But again, I like these simple projects. And some of you are new, you know, you, again, I honestly, when it comes Christmas time, what I normally do is I save all these little pieces during Christmas and then come when it becomes time for uh, our like Christmas stuff, I basically use what I have. That's what I do. Not everybody does that, but again, I I do what I do. I'm just wondering what this would look like. So this is just a tiny piece of fabric. I just want to see how this tiny piece of fabric would look. I'm there. Yeah, just a different look. Just trying to get all these itty bits and pieces out of the way a little bit here this might be too bulky we'll see Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be too bulky, but I really like it. Oh, well. Let's use a really thin one. Look that. Instead of as heavy as the other one, we'll use a thin one. So, 
that also helps when you have different sizes of hemp instead of always the same size. I mean, this one's way smaller than that other one.